hello friends welcome back to node.js tutorial so in this video we are going to discuss about how to read or write files using node.js right so last we have discussed about the modular concept in node.js and i want to comment out these things and we can check all those codes from our previous video so if you just check in the description section you will get the node.js series so you can find all those things from the very beginning right so now i just doing these things and in this video we are going to discuss about how to use or how to read or write files with node.js so to handle with file we need to use the fs package it's a file system package and this is the global package so we can get access of fs from anywhere from our js and it is don't need to create things right so the package is suppose if i just want to use that package simply we can create a simple variable suppose so let's create a variable fs and we just want to require that things okay so using require fs we can get access of fs package that is a file system package right now the thing is if i want to read any file so let's create a file first suppose my file name is um, uh, anything that is uh, demo.txt right and if i just want to add some data here hello this is from um, txt file right so i just created a txt file and i just want to get this result from the node.js how we can do this so we are using the fs package so using fs package we can do this so simply write fs as we created this file so here you can see the read file read directory 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 read stream and whatever right so we just want to consider our read file so i just going to read the demo.txt file data so simply just write here in the first parameter write demo dot txt as this file in the same directory so if you just check in the same directory the txt file present there's a reason we just use this in this way um, and if you have any folders or any external directory so we can add in this way our directory name and all this right so simply just write demo dot txt and the second parameter is the closer function that is function and here is basically two type of uh, parameters that is first one is error and second one is data right and now using the data we can get access of demo.txt so simply write console.log and simply just write data dot to string right to string this is the function to get output so simply just save this and go to the terminal and write in this way note and the file name that is index.js so hello this is from txt file basically these are coming from here simple things now one things if i mistakenly write the file name or something i declare the file name but the file is not exist in the directory then what happens suppose i just want to change demo1.txt actually demo1.txt is not present right so in this time what happened so in this time if i just run this again and it will say some error cannot read properties of undefined and it is data dot to string if there is a problem actually this is a problem so how to handle this problem so here you can see there is err that means the error so if anything is error we can log these things so simply just handle the error so if anything error that time it will simply console log the error right so simply add these things and let's save this and run again so you can say this type of error so actually we are getting the error but what is the error we can understand so error is that is minus 2 and this is the code e n o e n t 
and path is dem1.txt actually the main thing is error is no such file or directory okay so that's the reason it's error so let's change this demo.txt and demo.txt is present so simply clear once and run it again so we are getting output okay so this was actually a read functionality so if i just want to read any files or read any files data in this way we can write this the next thing is if i want to write something into the file how we can we write this so simply just use the same modules that is fs modules so here is the fs module and this is a file system modules right now i want to create some data so for now i just closing these things for now right and here i just want to create any variable suppose variable data equal to something so i just want to write new content for new file right now the thing is if i just want to write something simply use the fs and the write file right so just use this and here the first parameter will send the name of the file name suppose uh, i just want to write the demo one dot txt and now just pass the data which i want to set and the third function is the closer function right so simply write function and here just pass the error so if anything error that time it will show the error so same like in this way just pass these things and just console the output which actually just going to print so simply write console log and here simply write success or something um, file is written something anything so right so now just run these things and let's check so success file is written so let's see in the directory demo under txt is present or not so right here demo under txt is present right so very good now if i just write again new content for new file and write and i am changing the value right so just write this in this way and just write again so for success file is written and if i just go here we can see demo1.txt and now we can see the new value also added right so in this way after adding value if i want to fetch the data which i actually added then how to add this so simply we know the code and just paste this here and the file name is demo1.txt so simply write demo1.txt and let's run this again and we can get success file is written and the new content for new file and i'm changing the value the all things are also getting right so this is all about the read and write in the file using node.js hope you will like this video please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and next day we are going to discuss about the directory handling so we'll create directory we'll remove directory so please subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day